Hey guys, it's Crystal. This is like the third video that I'm filming today, or fourth, I don't know, maybe fourth. Um, but anyways, this video is not going to go up until tomorrow, which is Christmas Eve, but I have decided to do All I Want for Christmas Tag, I think that's what it's called. I have the questions over here and that's why. Yeah, All I Want for Christmas Tag. There is eight questions and I'm going to answer them because it's Christmas Eve. And if any of these things happen to me, I think I would be ecstatic. But anyways, um, let's see if I can situate my computer and make it reasonable. Okay. Um, the first question is, what fictional character do you want Santa to leave under your Christmas tree? I think that if you guys have been on my channel long enough, the answer is obvious. Uh, I have all my books all out of order here. I would choose Will Herondale from the Infernal Devices series, or trilogy, because I just, I love him so much. If he was a real person, I would be super creepy about it, and I think that I would track him down and ask him to marry me. <laughs> that is just how obsessed I am with Will Herondale. That's all I have to say about that. Question number two is, what character do you want to kiss under the mistletoe? Um, I would like to kiss Damon from the Lux series. I don't have the first one, so I just grabbed whatever one I saw first, and that happened to be Origin, which is the fourth book. But, I would love to kiss Damon under the mistletoe, because I feel like he would be a really good kisser. Question number three. You write your Christmas list for Santa. What are the top five books on it? I have already gotten pretty much every single book that I wanted from my Christmas list, so I thought I would just show you the top five that I got. Um, really the top four, but the fifth one I haven't gotten from Amazon yet. But anyways, the first two being the first two books in the Mario Dyer trilogy, Mario Dyer trilogy, um, the Unbecoming of Mario Dyer, which is the first one, and the Evolution of the Mario of Mario Dyer. I love these books so much, and they have definitely reached one of my top five favorite series or trilogies that I've read in 2013. They're just beautiful and creepy and mysterious, and mm, they're great. They're great. And then the next three, or the next two that I have, I don't have the third one yet, would be the Unearthly Trilogy by Cynthia Hand. And I have one of these books for the longest time in the gorgeous hardcover because they are so pretty. And that's why I asked them for Christmas because I've been waiting to read them because they're really pretty and in hardcover and just, mm, like look, even the insides, even without the dust jacket, they're still really pretty. But anyways... So, yeah, those are the top five books. I showed you one and three, two hasn't gotten here yet. But, yeah, um, that was question number three. Question number four, it is Secret Santa at Hogwarts. What do you want, most want to receive? I exactly haven't read the Harry Potter series, so I'll get back to you on that. Um, question number five, you get to spend the day with the characters... And movie adaptation actors from one fandom, what do you pick? Even though I didn't like the books, I think that I would choose the Hunger Games trilogy because I love all the actors and I think they're really great. And to spend a day with like Joss Hutcherson, I think that I would, I, I think, I legitimately think that I would not be able to spend the day with him because I would be passed out on the ground if I, I, but, hmm. He's been, like, my celebrity crush since I was a little child. Um, let's see. Question number six. What fictional animal would you like to replace Rudolph and be able to meet on your roof? Now, this one, I just, I guess I'm kind of going to cheat and pick two, and I didn't get the other book because I didn't feel like getting it. But the first one that I would pick would be Gabriel from the Fallen series, not the Fallen by Lauren Cape, but the Fallen by Thomas E. Chernowski. And he basically turns into this talking angelic dog, and he's really cool. And the second one that I have just recently fallen in love with, within like the last three days, because that's when I've been reading the series, is Grimm the Cat 
from the Iron Face series, and I think Grimm is great, and I think that he would be really cool to have around because I feel like he can kind of tell futures, and he can talk, and I love cats, and I just think he would be great. I would want Grimm around, like, all the time. Um, question number seven. You invite ten fictional characters to your New Year's Eve party. Who do you pick? Uh-oh, my computer almost went out. Um, I would pick... I'm going to repeat on some of these, but, you know, there might be mistletoe and there might be presents at a New Year's Eve party. I don't know. But anyways, I would have Will Herondale. I would have Jem Carstis. Both of those from the um, Infernal Devices series or trilogy. I wouldn't invite Tessa because I would want to be in Tessa's place and I would want all the male attention. <laughs> um, anyways, then I would invite... Adam from the Lux series and also Damon. That's four. Who else would I invite? I would invite Ren and Kishin from the Tiger's Curse. That's six. Um, oh, I don't know who else I would invite. Who else? I would invite Simon and I would invite Isabel from the Mortal Instruments. I would invite Aaron from the Fallen. I would invite, I'm looking on my bookshelf, I would invite, hmm, I don't know who I, else I would invite, I don't know, tell me who you, oh, that's who, I would invite Noah from the Mario Dyer trilogy. And finally, question number eight, what character would make a good Santa? It doesn't have to be a parent's personality counts too. This, you guys might get on me a little bit if you've read, um, the mortal instruments, but I would say Luke, I could see Luke putting on a beard and pretending to be Santa, and I can see it being really, really hilarious. So that's who I would choose as my Santa Claus. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me do this tag, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, and I probably won't make another video that'll go up on Christmas, so have a Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays, or Happy Hanukkah, or Happy Kwanzaa, or whatever you celebrate. And get lots of presents and lots of books and happy reading. I'll see you guys later. Bye.